So AES is a, a services firm. Uh, we're a professional services firm. Uh, myself, uh, through the training, and now I'm a professional engineer, licensed both in Canada and the U.S. Uh, we offer uh, engineering services for the building engineering sector. So, uh, the aquarium at uh, Vancouver, uh, the transit facilities, we're performing the engineering services for the Evergreen Line. Uh, I've done the pharmacy uh, school and the life sciences school over at UBC, a lot of aquatic facilities and, and uh, anything around the lighting, power and low tension systems for building engineering, that's what we do. We don't necessarily build it, we produce documentation that contractors use to then construct uh, the products that we deliver. I've always had the internal drive to, to do bigger and better. Um, it's something I grew up with. I, I, I come from a different part of the world growing up. Uh, I've been here in Vancouver since 91 and just started BCIT in 98. I decided to enroll in the TMGT program, uh, which would get me into the um, uh, technology management and possibly a master's if I decided to pursue. I used the startup of the business as what turned out to be my project and my thesis for the technology management degree. Graduated in, I believe, 2011 and we've been going the business ever since. We've got 42 people in Vancouver and about 18 in Victoria. And now the idea, we are looking at very seriously, uh, possibly expanding uh, east and south. We're looking at the Calgary market and, and Seattle as well. So it's a very eventful journey and uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. Okay, let me know that. We moved to Canada, I was 12. And, and uh, you know, we came with the clothes on our back. And about six months into it, my father and mom sat me down and it was, uh, you know, you work hard and you really work hard and give it 100% from now till 30 or 40 and you can start to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Or you can do what uh, uh, others have done, which is party and enjoy life. And then you spend the remainder of it working hard to pay off bills. And that stuck with me. And it was always about how do I get to hit the accomplishment and how do we maximize the opportunity. So whether it's the learnings at BCIT, maximize the opportunities, you have so many options. Or whether it's an opportunity at the workplace, don't wait for an employer to come and say, can you do this? Ask and grab and just run and push. And until somebody really pushes back, don't stop and keep going.